गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर इंग्लिश क्लास क्लास इलेवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द समरी ऑफ द लेसन वी आर नॉट अफ्रेड टू डाई इफ वी कैन ऑल बी टूगेदर इट इज रिटन बाय गॉर्डन कुक एंड एलन ईस्ट दिस इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ द वीडियो in video number 3 that is the previous video we had covered summary part 1 in which we had covered the following points a dream voyage first leg of the journey first signs of impending disaster january 2 preparing for the worst disaster and its aftermaths crew members showed unparalleled strength and other problems arose we are not afraid to die if we can all be together january 3 conditions under control but critical there was a tremendous leak somewhere below the water line the boat's main rib frames were nearly broken wave walker would not hold together long enough to reach australia it was feared only hope of the captain the captain's only hope was to reach either of the two small islands a few hundred kilometers of east one of them lee amsterdam a french scientific base it could be possible only if the wind slowed down allowing the sail to be hoisted crucial days january 4 and 5 after 36 hours of continuous pumping there was only a few centimeters of water left the crew had to keep the pace with the water which was still coming in they could not set any sail on the mast they hoisted the storm jib and headed in the direction of the two islands the black clouds built up again at 4 pm the wind was back to 40 knots and the sea started getting higher by the dawn of january 5 the situation became desperate show of exemplary courage the captain san jonathan exhibited rare courage by saying we are not afraid of time if we can all be together new determination and courage revived in the captain to fight the sea and he decided to protect the weakened starboard side safe at last 
January 6 saw wave walker ride out of the storm and the wind eased. The captain tried to get a reading using a device in order to discover the exact position of the ship. In the chart room, he worked on wind speeds, changes of course, drift and current in order to calculate their position. He checked and rechecked calculations despite all handicaps. The main compass was lost and the spare one had not been corrected for magnetic variations. Depending on his calculations, he asked Larry to steer a course of 185 degrees at around 2 pm. He expected to see the island at about 5 pm, though he himself was not very sure. He dozed off and woke up at 6 pm, disheartened that they had probably missed the island. His son John and daughter Sue then appeared and hugged him, calling him the best daddy and the best captain for they had found the island. The voyagers touched the shore at Lee Amsterdam. Courage, conviction, a keen presence of mind and above all, the strength of the family brought them successfully out of their ordeal.